and welcome aboard to another episode of the Big Jet series. Today I will show you how to um, have your cockpit ready for a flight. We will talk uh, specifically about the FMS, how to program all the, uh, the avionics systems, um, a little bit uh, getting the clearance as well, we'll get a clearance, and uh, some other stuff that uh, will be somehow interesting for you. So please join me in, uh, in the cockpit and I will show you up. Thanks. All right, guys. So first, we'll need to make sure that we have a GPU connected. All right. And uh, this is uh, uh, the power plant that gives, uh, gives us the power. So uh, we need to uh, get the line man um, uh, ask uh, to please connect the GPU. So this is the first step in order to have power in the, in the cockpit. All right, guys. So welcome to the cockpit. Uh, first of all, we... Um, we'll turn on the battery all right and uh, we what we are looking is here in the voltmeter to read that 28 volts as the battery is a 24 uh, volt battery uh, we will want to uh, show up here 28 volts because that's the voltage that, uh, that the GPU is working so uh, if we have a uh, 24 volts the GPU is bad so uh, there's the battery uh, there we go we got 28 volts so now that uh, I go, we can uh, start checking uh, everything here. All right, guys. So with the batteries on, we um, I'm gonna turn on the radio masters, which uh, those switches are here on my side. So that will turn everything on. As you can see, the screens are coming up, the FMS are uh, starting up, and uh, the first thing we're gonna set up it's gonna be the uh, uh, the FMS position initial. So we want to check the status here, the database, which is uh, February 6th to March the 5th. Today is, uh, as you can tell, March the 1st, and the time is correct, 2052 Zulu. So that is going to work for us. We'll go ahead and uh, go to position initializing. We're going to go next, and we will wait for either GPS 1 or GPS 2 position in order to set that coordinates here. If we are not getting those uh, uh, to um, position for the GPS, we could uh, still get a reference for the airport, which is gonna be Houston, Hobby. We're gonna set up that here, and we could use uh, these coordinates, which are gonna be less accurate than the GPS position. So uh, whenever you see the, um, these squares, uh, we're gonna set up uh, actually is that information that uh, the FMS is, going, is asking for us okay so first uh, we have that in here uh, for the fly plan on the next page we will set up here Houston all right we will put uh, the destination will be uh, Del Norte International Airport Mike Mike of November the alternate which is gonna be Mike 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 Yankee all right We'll set up that here, and uh, now it's going to be the route. Okay, the route will be um, entered as the, the last waypoint of the standard instrument departure, which uh, is going to be the Palacios Five departure, uh, Palacios transition. So uh, that's going to be Palacios, and then we're going to set J22 Laredo. Lima Romeo Delta, okay, there it is. Then we're gonna set up direct November Lima Delta and upper J11 to Mike Tango Yankee. There it is. So uh, here is the route. We're gonna execute that because uh, we're modifying uh, some information. And uh, next we're gonna go to performance initialize. Here, we will set the aircraft weights, the, uh, the altitude we're gonna fly, which is gonna be flight level 360. And fuel, remember where the fuel gauges are? Over here. So we're gonna see that we don't have any fuel on the center, on um, the fuselage tank, but we do have um, fuel on the wings. So that totalizes about 2400, see that? 1200 uh, aside. So we're gonna set up 2400 here for the fuel 
there it is it will give us a cross weight which is uh, 30.8 that is within limits and uh, today we're gonna carry four passengers all right and that is still within limits all right we're gonna execute that very good so the FMS is already set we will need to check the legs uh, which is gonna be Houston Delicious last uh, S um, standard instrument departure waypoint, then Heinz Corpus Christi VOR Laredo, direct Nula, then Monterey. And uh, the route is okay. We're gonna keep uh, this FMS on the legs page, and this one we're gonna uh, keep that on uh, the uh, radio tuning page. Good. So now we're gonna set up here um, some stuff. Uh, first, uh, the, area, the takeoff speeds, which is going to be uh, B1, BRP2, we're going to set uh, that uh, B1 uh, 110. Then uh, B2, we're going to set 120. I'm sorry, 115. And B2, we're going to set that 120. So there it is, 120. Okay. And uh, right now, what we're going to do is um, listen for the 80s and then we are going to request the clearance. So for now, everything here, what uh, we could do is uh, already set, all right? So next step, it's going to be get our clearance and with that, we, need, uh, we could uh, proceed to set up uh, the departure procedure and some other stuff. So um, let's uh, tune for now the 80s, which is uh, 124.6 and we will listen for the 80s. Hoppy Air for the ride will flash departure information Sierra 20530. Wind 210 at 12, gust 21. Visibility 10, 3, Temperature 27, 2.18. Altimeter 2998. ILF runway 12, right approach in use. All right, guys, so we have uh, information here right now, and uh, we know the weather information, and uh, with that, we can uh, call clearance now. So uh, first of all, um, I want to put and uh, set up here uh, the altimeter setting, which is uh, 298 for the 80s. So there is set 298, but remember, we have three altimeters, so there is one. We will go here and set up 298, there's two. And uh, left side, two nighter, nighter eight. There we go. So altimeters are set. Okay. And uh, next step, uh, we're gonna get our clearance. All right. So I'll leave you alone, guys. Uh, just a second. We're gonna check the clearance frequency for that, which is gonna be uh, there. It is. So clearance is one two five point four five. We'll. Uh, Put that in, that in, and uh, let me call Clarence uh, in order to get our Clarence there. Hi, right, Clarence. Good afternoon, November four three six from my kilo. So four three six from my kilo. Clarence, ready? Copy. Copy is here. Six from my kilo. Clear to Mike. Mike Alpha November via Palacios five departure. Palacios as filed. Maintain five thousand. Block seven three seven three. Three seven three. Good. All right, Midget 436, we're going to start to the mic crank off at River Airport via the Palacios by departure, Palacios transition of Buckland, maintain 5,000, spec 360, 7373. 6 we're clear, back to the where you parked at? Jet Aviation, Sierra. Copy. All right, so we do have uh, the clearance, so uh, as as you can hear, uh, as you heard, we um, uh, we got a departure procedure with the transition, which is what we planned. So now we're gonna uh, have to uh, put this in here. So that that's a departure uh, procedure page. We're gonna go next because uh, we're looking for the Palacios 5 departure, which is uh, this one. We're gonna select that. It will ask uh, us for a transition. In this case, as the Palacios 5 starts on Palacios, there, there will be no transition. And uh, we're gonna select the, uh, the runway, departing runway. Here in Javi, um, it's a special airport because uh, the uh, departing runway is assigned by uh, ground control. So we cannot determine which uh, runway we're going to be taking off until we contact 
background during text. So we will leave these uh, uh, like that blank. All right, so FMS appear uh, to be good. Uh, frequencies are set up, one to 1.9 is uh, ground. And uh, I can use these, uh, uh, these um, page number two to set the tower frequency, which is uh, gonna be 118.7 and uh, departure frequency for the palacious fire departure i believe is one to seven point six two let me just uh, uh, double check that palacious five which is kind of this one and here it is one two seven point one two so that's the departure frequency all right uh one two seven point I'm gonna set up that here okay so um Frequencies are set, FMS are set with the departure procedure. We have our clearance. Uh, transponder, very important. We'll set that up, remember that. 7373, three, and we put that in here, okay? So transponder set, frequencies are set, everything is good. We will set the range here to uh, 25 miles departure. And uh, as we're gonna fly out of uh, Bravo airspace, we're gonna set the air airspeed on uh, 200 knots, which is gonna be the limit. So 200 knots there, and uh, 200 knots in here, okay? So uh, both the uh, airspeed box are set good, 200 knots. There we go, okay. So 200 knots there, um, we're gonna check uh, fuel, we are gonna reset that. Takeoff power, we're gonna set here 96.7, which is the uh, takeoff power setting, um, for, uh, which I uh, got from the tables, from the performance tables. And uh, checking down here, we're gonna go to the heading and the flight level change modes. We're gonna uh, reflect here, okay, heading and flight level change uh, flashing. And um, up here, we're gonna check the navigation lights on, seat belts off, everything here off, and then we're gonna set the generators off, right? With the battery uh, start, they are normally here a norm, but whenever you start uh, with the GPU, uh, you need to have them off. So generators off. Everything here looks good, all right? We're gonna set um, uh, altitude, for the pressurization system, which is going to be a thousand feet above the uh, flying altitude 370, uh, as we're going to fly at 360. All right, good. Trims are set for departure. See this one, wings level, trim, uh, rudder trim center. So um, everything looks good, as you can tell. Um, uh, all the uh, the instruments, uh, the FMS, everything is set up for uh, departure. So, um, as you can tell, it takes you a while, not that much, but uh, you need to come here, uh, get, get your time, uh, plan ahead, and uh, have everything ready, all right? Uh, there's some other stuff that you don't need to do uh, always, but um, it's uh, good to do that whenever you have time, uh, which uh, it's gonna be some test. I won't be doing, uh, showing up those uh, uh, today, but that's going to be another episode for the Pigeon series, so stay tuned. So uh, guys, thanks a lot for watching this episode. I remind you uh, to go over my Instagram profile. You're going to uh, find there a lot of pictures. Uh, I appreciate your comments over there and uh, this video as well. Uh, follow the links to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next Pigeon series. Thank you.